Hi. What's up guys? This is your host Eliza. If you are starting a small online business and want to set up a web store and reach out to the 2 billion Facebook users, this tutorial will show you how to do it for free. I will show you how to create a web store, set up payment gateway and shipping information, upload products to your web store and sync to Facebook shop with zero cost. So let's get started. At the address bar of your browser, type smartseller.online and press enter. You are directed to Smartseller e-commerce website. At the top right corner is a button start for free. Click it. Type in a store name. It can contain special characters such as space or apostrophe. For the URL, use lowercase letters without special characters. Click the blue color bar at the bottom to continue to the next step. On this page, you are creating a free account on Smart Seller. Type in the required information. Use lowercase for username. Special characters are not allowed. Combine upper and lower case characters with numbers to create a strong password. Ignore the checkbox for coupon. Click the checkbox for I agree to the terms of service. Click the blue bar below to create your account. Your account is created. You can now build your web store. You start by selecting a template for your web store. For the free account, there are two professional templates you can choose from. Click the one you like and click select. On this page, you tell the site builder the address of your business. Type in all required fields. You can use all alphanumeric characters and special characters. Click the Let's Go Red button to continue. Here, you will set up the payment method to be used in your business. Smart Seller has many payment gateways. For the free account, it uses PayPal. The most popular and secured gateway. You need to have a PayPal account. PayPal uses email address for an account. Key in your account email. Your customers will pay to this account. You can also set up offline payments here but we don't encourage that, unless necessary do not offer offline payment. Click the red button to continue. On this page, you will set up basic shipping information. You provide information such as postage and package measurement units of your products. Smart Seller has advanced shipping integration methods. For basic setup, Use flat rates for both local and overseas delivery. Choose the measurement units. Depending on which country you are operating your business, you may choose using the metric system using grams and centimeters, or the US system using ounces and inches. Click Continue. Congratulations! You are done. Setting up your web store is so easy. 
you can start uploading your products and view your dashboard. To add product, click products on the left hand navigation column, followed by all products. You will see a page with your product listing. Click Add New at the top of the page. You will be directed to the Add New Product page. Type in the name of the product. It can be any catchy name your customers might be attracted to. You can use alphanumeric, including special characters here. Next, you will type in a description of the product. This is what the customers will see when they want to know more about your product. Next, key in the price of the product in regular price field. If you are doing a promotion then key in the special price and customer will purchase the product at this discount price. Otherwise leave this field blank. Now, click inventory key in an SKU number. This is the stock keeping unit which is an alphanumeric code that identifies the product and helps you track inventory for your retail business. You can create SKU numbers by giving each product a special code. It can be any alphanumeric string. Click Enable Stock Management if you want the system to alert you of your inventory stocking status. Key in the quantity of the same product you have in stock. The rest of the checkboxes are self-explanatory. Next click Shipping on the Navigation column. Proceed to key in information such as weight and dimensions of the product. These are information needed by the shipping company. Just type in the numbers without the units. You have already defined the measurement units during store setup so there is no need to key in units again. Next you point your cursor to the right hand side and click set product image to upload photos of your product. On this product image page, you can upload photos to your web store. There are different ways to upload a photo. By clicking on the Select a File button or by dragging a photo from a folder on your hard drive and drop it anywhere on the page. Here I open a folder where I keep my product photos. It shows the t-shirt photos I have stored in that folder. I select a photo of the product to be used as the main photo on the web store. Customers will see this photo first when browsing your web store. I simply drag the photo onto the page to upload it. Now the photo is being uploaded to your web store. It will take a short while because your photo is being processed. It is being optimized and resized. Click the blue button set product image on the lower right side. This will set the image as the main photo of the product. After setting the main image of the product, you then proceed to load more related images of the same product. Click Add Product Gallery Images at the lower right corner. Next click a folder on your computer that contains all the other photos of the product. Select them by clicking and dragging at the same time. Drag and drop the photos on the Add Gallery Images page. Now your multiple images are being uploaded. Please bear with it as it takes a bit of time to resize and process and optimize your images. You can see that two of the three images have been loaded and now the last image is being processed and loaded. Okay, now all three images have been loaded successfully. Select all three and click the blue button Add to Gallery on the lower right corner. Here you have it. All three t-shirt images have been added to the gallery. Click Publish. To go live on the internet. So your customers can see this newly added product on your web store. To view your new product, click the View Product link on the upper left hand side and choose Open a new tab. Click on the tab on your browser to see how your product looks on the web store. You customers will see the same layout when they visit your store online. Let me repeat the same process once more to show you how to add a new product. Click All Products on the left-hand navigation column, followed by Add New. Give your product a name. 
You can use alphanumeric and special characters here. Now type in the product description. This is for your customers to know more about your product. Next you need to key in the pricing. Key in also the discount price if you have a promotion. Leave it blank if you do not intend to give discount. Next, you will provide inventory information. Click Inventory. The SKU is an alphanumeric string you create to give the product a unique ID for easy reference purpose. Key in the rest of the fields to complete the product information. Next click Shipping. In this step, you provide the weight and dimension of the product so that the shipping company knows how to charge for the postage. Next, click on the lower right hand corner Set Product Image. We are now on the Product Image page. Open the folder where you keep the photos of your product. Drag the photo you want to use as the main product photo and drop it on the product image page. Click the blue button Set Product Image at the lower right corner. Next add more images of the same product to the gallery. On the lower right corner, click Add to Gallery. Now click and open the folder containing all the other photos of the product. Select all the photos you want and drag and drop onto the Add Images to Gallery page. Please bear with me, as your images are being resized and optimized while being uploaded, and needed some time. Once all the images have been uploaded, click Publish to go live online so your customers can see them. Customers can now type your web store URL to see your products. This is a professionally looking web store you can build in just a few minutes to start selling online. And it is completely free. Isn't it amazing? When a customer clicks on a product, he or she will see exactly these beautifully organized images and all the information related to the product. We are at the final step of this lesson. That is to sync your web store to Facebook shop. When done, all the products on your web store will also show on your Facebook shop. To do that, you need to go back to your dashboard. You are now looking at your dashboard. Click Facebook integration on the left navigation column and select Facebook shop. This is the Facebook integration page. Click the blue color get started button. You will be prompted to log in to Facebook if you have not already done so. If you do not have a Facebook account, you can click the green button to create a new Facebook account. Here, I assume you already have a Facebook account. So let's proceed to log in to your Facebook account. Type in your email or phone number, followed by your password. Click the blue login button to continue. After you have successfully logged in to Facebook, Click the blue color lower right corner button next to continue. If you have more than one Facebook page, you will need to choose which Facebook page you want to sync with your web store. You must have a Facebook page in order for your web store to sync to it. If you don't have a Facebook page, go to Facebook to create one. In this demo, I have created a Facebook page called Anderson's Store. I select it by clicking it. 
The system now connects the web store on Smart Seller and the Facebook page called Anderson's Store. Click the blue color lower right corner button next to continue. It also installs an advertising tool, Facebook Pixel, on your computer. Click the blue color lower right corner button next to continue. Click the lower right corner blue finish button to start copying the products from your web store to your Facebook shop. Congratulations! You have successfully linked your web store to your Facebook shop and are ready to sell to potential buyers on Facebook. Click the blue button to continue. We are all done linking our web store to Facebook shop. Now you are back to Smart Seller Dashboard. You can see that your Smart Seller web store is busy talking to your Facebook shop, uploading your products to Facebook. Be patient, get a coffee or do some exercise. Do anything but do not get out of this page. Stay on the page while the uploading is undergoing. When uploading is completed, click the blue color text, your Facebook page, to view your exciting Facebook page. You are directed to your personal Facebook account. On the left side navigation column, click your Facebook shop. In this demo, it is Anderson's store. This is the Facebook page for your online business. On the left hand navigation column, click shop. Voila! This is your Facebook shop that contains the same products in your web store. That's right! You have synchronized your web store to your Facebook shop. Scroll down to look at the professionally laid out products. This is what your customers see when visiting your Facebook shop. Buyers can click on an item to look at the detailed information. She can look at more images of the product from the gallery on the left. To buy the product, the customer clicks on the blue bar on the right that reads Check Out on Website. She will be seamlessly redirected to your Smart Seller web store to complete the transaction. The customer now sees the shopping cart on your web store and can proceed to checkout. That concludes our tutorial for this session. I hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers for now. And thanks for watching.